In this session, we take a look at working with simple SEPs raster, our simulated process color separations, and doing separation and image adjustments in Corel Draw after we've run our color separations. Here in my document in Corel, I've got a couple of images set up, and this crayon image is actually from one of our previous tutorials for simple SEPs raster, and you'll find those on our advanced t-shirts website under the simple SEPs raster video tutorials. And there's some tutorials on how to use the plugin, and then we get into some tutorials relating to understanding color, printing with a reduced number of colors, with simulated process. You know, very often in the industry you hear that simulated process requires a lot of colors. That's not true if you're doing your simulated process correctly. You can actually print some things with a reduced number of colors. For example, this Halloween design, if you watch the video, you'll see that we printed the orange or created a simulation of the orange through a blend of red and yellow. We created the brown in the bat through a blend of red, yellow, and black. So there's no brown and no orange in this print. There's an actual copy of the image of the printed t-shirt in the video tutorial. And then we get into some things on interlocking halftones, etc. These are all very important tutorials if you're going to be working with Simple Steps Raster and doing simulated process style printing. I can't stress enough how important it is that you're able to print at the simulated process level. We found in our own shop that being able to print simulated process when our competitors can't has gotten us clients. In fact, it's gotten us some big clients. In fact, it even got us a casino chain that has 20 different casinos and we do all of their printing in our shop because we're able to print at the simulated process level. Go ahead and get back to our Corel Draw document here. And I'm going to start working with this crayon graphic because this graphic is ideal for me to demonstrate how it is you can do your color separations and then go in and do image adjustment, actually refine image adjustments or color adjustments on your images based on your simple steps or raster color separations. To get started here, I'll go up to my advanced tools and I'll click on that and I'll go to my simple steps raster and I'll bring that up. Now, if you're in Corel Draw 7, you have to go through window here to dockers and down to advanced tools because we're in a docker in Corel Draw 7, but I'm here in X6. I'll go to simple steps raster and I'll bring that up. That'll go ahead and open and I'll go ahead and move this over. Now, looking at my image, I can tell that I've got orange, green, blue, and violet, and I'm sure there's also going to be some black in there. So go ahead and turn all of those little lights green, and that's going to tell Simple Steps Raster what colors I want to pull for my color separations. And I'll just come down here and simply click on Click Steps, and we'll let that process. Once that's finished processing, I'll go ahead and minimize my Simple Steps Raster. I won't need that, but I want it in a minute again with the same settings after I do my image adjustments. Now, looking at these crayons, I can come over here to my Object Manager Docker. You can get to that through Window and Dockers also, and that'll be up here at the top. You can't see it, but there's an Object Manager. I'll go ahead and expand my group here, and I'll come over here and just click on Ungroup All. That way I can just have my images stacked up here. The first thing I want to do is start setting these up as RGB bitmaps set to the Subtract mode, so I can start using my Effects and Image Adjustment tools directly in Corel Draw. To do that, I'll go to Bitmap with that selected from the Object Manager. I'll go to Convert to Bitmap. I'm going to have Anti-Aliasing turned off, and I'm going to have Transparent Background turned off. I'm going to go RGB at 24-bit, 300 dpi, and select OK. Now with that set up, you can see that that's now just my black separation, but I'm going to come over here to my Interactive Tools, and I'm going to go to Transparency. I'm going to select Uniform, and I'm going to change that to Subtract, and I'm going to slide this all the way back to zero. Now that's an RGB bitmap that I can edit or adjust in Corel Draw. Now since I'd be using this conversion of bitmap to subtract a lot, I'd probably actually go ahead and create a macro for that. So with the violet selected, I'm going to go to Tools, I'm going to come down to Macros, and I'm going to go Start Recording. I'm going to call this Image to Subtract. Select OK. I'm going to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, same settings, select OK. I'm going to go over here to my transparency. I'm going to change this to uniform. I'm going to go to subtract and slide this all the way back. Now at this point, I'm done recording my macro. So I'll go to tools, macros, and stop recording. Now I'll have down here under my Visual Basic for Applications in my macro manager docker, under global macros, under Recorded Macros, I'll have Image to Subtract. And I can use that to apply those steps or that bitmap conversion to the rest of the images in my color separations. I'll just double click on this and then I'll select the green and I'll do the same thing. 
and then finally the orange. Double click. Now these are all set up as RGB bitmaps set to subtract, so I can go ahead and start editing them. Let's say I wanted to make some adjustment to the green in the green crayon. I could come up here to Effects, Adjust with that selected in my object, Manager Docker, and come on here to Tone Curve, and I can left click and hold this down, and you can see that I've got that, actually got the blue instead of the green there. I want to hit Cancel, make sure I've got the green, not the blue. There we go. Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. And left click, hold down, drag that, and you can see the change I'm making in the green. And that's making that a darker green or more saturated or vibrant green. Dialed right into just the green because I've got that separation. Or I could actually select all of the images, holding down Shift, go to Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve again, with all of them selected, and make an adjustment, pull these down, and you can see the effect that I'm having there. Now if I did that, let's say I'll select OK here, and let's say on the blue, I wanted to reduce some of the effect. I could go back to Effects Adjust on my Tone Curve here, and just left click and pull this up to the upper left and reduce the amount of adjustment I had made there. Select OK, and now I've really dialed in the saturation of these crayons if I want to get more pop of the color on the t-shirt. Once I've done my adjustments to my images, I can go ahead and just left click, hold down, right click one time, duplicate this, and I can go back to my Simple Steps raster. I've got the same settings as before. Go ahead and click on Click Steps and generate the same color separations, but this time I'll pull it 100% accurate based on the adjustments that I made to the image, so I'll have perfect color separations literally here in a matter of a minute or less as these separations are processed through Simple Steps raster. Once that's finished processing, I can go over here to my crayons. I'll right click on these. I'll come down and turn off overprint outline. I'm going to right click again and turn that back on just to make sure everything's set to overprint outlines. I'll go to view, simulate overprints, and you can see here's my perfect color separations. I could go ahead, run these through Simple Steps, Smart Rip 4, get my halftones, print my film, go out to press and start printing photographic quality based on these five colors. Now this was just for demonstrative purposes, so I won't need this. I'll go ahead and close this. I'm not going to need the same changes here. I'm going to do the same here, and we'll go back to our original graphic that we were working with. And here's an example with the Iron Man graphic. We can see this is kind of undersaturated, or not very vibrant. So if I was going to print this, I'd really want to bring some pop out of it. Actually go to my separations here. I can go to my black, go back to my image to subtract macro, double click that. Do the same thing for the magenta. Do the same thing for the blue, the cyan. Go ahead and double click this for the yellow. Go ahead and double click this for the red. Then I could come in here and select all of my hues, holding down shift, I'll select all of those. Go to effects, adjust, and tone curve. Bring this over here and I'll just left click and pull this down and let that process. And you can see how I was able to bring the color back out of the graphic working with this very simple technique, and I'll go ahead and select OK. And at this point, I go ahead and run my separations again. Once again, right through Simple Steps Smart Rip 4, after I run the Simple Steps Raster separations, get my films printed out, and get on press. So just a quick video tutorial on how to do your image adjustments or your separation tweaks, working in Corel Draw with the Convert to Bitmap and Subtract Lens Mode, and of course, all of your effects tools up here under Adjust for your bitmap images. And you can go ahead and experiment with all of these different adjustment tools in CorelDRAW. They all do different things, and you can use them to really tweak and dial in your color separations or even do image adjustments working with your color separations from Simple Steps Raster. We'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video.